Hello there, this is Jeffrey Smith from SEOdesignsolutions.com. Today we're going to look over a couple of different tactics using my favorite tool SEM Rush to identify niche markets. So this five step plan is very simple. First thing we're going to do is identify the keywords. After that we're going to identify the website. We're going to open up SEM Rush and basically look at the percentage of traffic being uh, driven to that specific website by those keywords. We're going to cross reference that with compete.com and then we're going to do the math to determine what the search engine result page position is uh, based on the amount of click through traffic they re receive from that keyword to determine if we do want to optimize something like that. So going over here, I've already selected very competitive market or niche. I'm not suggesting that you do that. Um, you want the, the real thing that you want to do is sometimes look at the top vertical market and then drill down and dig down into the less competitive phrases that also have a high amount of co-occurrence. So for example, the word weight loss, if I wanted to find out how competitive that is, which I know it's a definite uh, saturated market, we can determine there's 59 million competing pages for that. So to optimize a phrase like that and just rank for that out of thin air, it would probably take you well over a year, year and a half coming from the standpoint of a brand new website. But there are a lot of other phrases that are semantically related to that that do represent conversion opportunity based on you know people that are looking for that as a particular painkiller. So for example, weight loss pills would be a phrase that I might look at. Um, also knowing that this is a very competitive market, there's a, a method here that a lot of people use where they just will go out and buy an exact match URL. So for example, weight loss pills, weightlosspills.net. That's a great way if you're just doing keyword sniping where you're just targeting one phrase and you want to knock that off. It's not too difficult to do that. But just as an example, uh, we can use this website for the basis of the argument here. So using this phrase, um, I'm going to click the first result because this is really where the magic happens, where there's typically anywhere between 42 to 60 percent of the traffic to a specific phrase. Now I can look here, I've been using the SEO book toolbar. Um, it's a great tool which aggregates different search tools at your disposal. You can download that at seobook.com. Um, this is Firefox I'm using here. It's determined that there are 18,000 unique visitors. So We've already identified the keyword. We've already identified the website. Next thing we're going to do is open up the site in SEM Rush. So you can do that from this nice quick icon here from the toolbar, or you can just go to SEMrush.com and then put in the uh, the URL. If you have a subscription, you'll have access to the amount of phrases that they rank for. And so according to this, you can see that uh, the phrase that we we're looking for are weight loss pills. And I'm just going to go ahead and get the full report. And so I wanted to determine how much traffic was being driven to that site from the word weight loss pills. So I'm looking at the different variations of that. And I, I do note that they have a number one position. So if I sort by position here, I should be able to identify that briefly. So herbal weight loss pills number one. I just want to find that one phrase. And the purpose of that is, is that if I can cross-reference that, I can I can determine if this phrase really is significant to target. Now in this instance, I can look at the percentage of traffic that's being driven to the website from each particular keyword. Um, so even though I might have drifted in on a tangent from one phrase, I can actually look at the fact that weight loss products is driving even more volume or weight loss product than products or supplements. Uh, what I like to do is I look at the traffic percentage typically and I'll go down to where it tapers off at around 1%. Anything below that, it's really not worth targeting. But really, at this point, I could come in on a tangent, uh, determine what phrase they're ranking for, and if it is in one of the top three or the top five results, I know that that's a real winner for that keyword. And so um, I know that that, you know, based on the type of keyword research tool that I'm using, they all differ for various reasons. This one is suggesting that this phrase has 13,383 results that are populated per month from that, but they, they're only receiving 32% of their traffic. Um, you know, there, you can also look at, for example, if we go back to this here and we just go to compete.com. Now, without a membership, you're not really going to be able to see too much, but they also confirm that the site is receiving a substantial amount of traffic from the word weight loss. Uh, or actually, it's saying that 30% is coming from the word weight loss pills. So, so the idea here is that you can really aggregate that. You know, this in fact would be a phrase that would be worth going after, and you can also find the contextual keywords that also drive the most traffic. The third thing you can do 
On top of that is you can actually use Alexa as well. And if we go back to the site, um, I will be able to go to their Alexa ranking here just by going to show traffic details. This is another great tip. So it allows you to do a number of things. You, you can identify the competitor and you can see here that in their search query results they also are listed here. You can look at their clickstream data where people are going before and after. Or you can just view their uh, search analytics, which is the, the best method. 83% of the traffic, according to them, is being driven by that one phrase. It's the exact match. And also, there's, there's a corresponding amount of other phrases that you could optimize. So this really does provide you with contextual relevance, but also other phrases that you may or may not have considered. And so that is the basis of that tactic. Um, at that point, you then know that you can set up your own website or optimize a, a range of keywords based on those uh, gems that you just extracted from this type of keyword data mining. So I hope that helped. My name is Jeffrey Smith from SEO Design Solutions. Thank you for listening.